We're here in Deadwood at the 2019 Wild West Songwriters Festival with Stephen Wilson Jr. And Stephen, we appreciate you joining us on Black Hills TV. My pleasure. Stephen, what is more difficult? Being a boxer, an R&D scientist, or a songwriter? <laughs> I would say probably being a songwriter. As far as like, uh, you know, getting cuts and succeeding, uh, statistically speaking, it's probably more difficult. Um, but all of, you know, getting, stepping into the ring though, as a boxer is probably one of the most intense experiences you'll ever have. Cause it's a one-on-one -on -one competition. Uh, when I was fighting in the golden gloves, you know, that was probably one of the biggest I've, you know, played shows, you know, for five people or 10, 12,000 people. And, you know, you always get a big rush from a big crowd like that or a small crowd sometimes, but there's nothing that'll compare to stepping in the ring, especially when you step through those ropes, you walk up those steps, you step through the ropes, there's no turning back. And uh, yeah, you're, you're in the ring and there's no, it's just you and the other guy. And there's no teammate to help you out. There's nothing that someone can tell you to get you through it. It's just, it's just you. And, uh, but yeah, it, it can be, but at the same time, it, it, it's kind of made me who I am. It's been very formative and kind of like set the bar. My dad um, was a fighter as well, and he had me and my brother boxing. Uh, we started around age six or seven, started competing, and I fought all the way till I was 20. And, um, and my dad, he didn't have any musical, like, really ability. Like, he wasn't a musician or a performer. And I don't think he really knew what he was doing intentionally, but I think, you know, he was mentally preparing me for kind of life in general. Because if you can, like, honestly, if you can step in the ring and fight somebody, you can pretty much do anything. Not do anything, but it just sets the bar really high for, like, you know, what's going to intimidate you, what's going to... Mm -hmm what's going to shake you in your boots. It's like, I don't get shaken as easily as I could have been had I not had those experiences. So that affect your songwriting. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, it makes, you know, boxing is a very much a sport of stamina and, uh, lasting the fight. You know, you got, you got a, it's a battle of attrition and songwriting is a battle of attrition. The music business is a battle of attrition. And uh, you gotta you gotta hang in there, and you gotta stay the course. And um, I, I don't know any songwriter, any artist that has never that hasn't had to that doesn't say that that doesn't say it's all about you know just staying with staying it, staying with it, and you know fighting the good fight, so to speak. What are some of your hits? Uh, well, um, Tim McGraw and Trace Atkins just cut a couple of my songs. I'm pretty new to the songwriting. I've only really been I, I was an R&D scientist like five years ago and um, I worked as a microbiologist and a food scientist for Mars the food company and I was doing that and the great company and uh, I found myself at a crossroads though is like what I wanted to do with my life and you know um, I decided to kind of take that leap because I always wanted to write songs songs was kind of like always in my heart even even when I was boxing I just always loved music and uh, so I, I I kind of took that leap of faith um, and left the, the science community, or the, the private sector, as they would say, in R&D, and uh, started writing songs. And it took me a couple years to get a publishing deal. I had to kind of go through hell to get there. And then, it's, then that's really just the beginning of the climb. It's just kind of getting you to the base of the mountain. And then, then the climb begins. So I'm kind of in that, you know, the beginning of that climb I've only been doing it for a couple of years but I'm really fortunate to have uh, like Tim McGraw and Trace Atkins cut you know some of my songs and I got a couple others from some really major artists that are cutting for their new records and they're all you know I got to hear uh, Trace Trace's version of my song just a few weeks ago and what's called, that song it's called ain't no cowboy okay. and uh, but yeah he uh, he did an incredible job and so yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to kind of hear it and see what happens. I'm kind of in this, you know, that, that, that part of the stage where, um, you know, the, the songs are, are about to come out and we'll kind of, we'll see what happens. Yeah. You got your guitar, you got a favorite? Of mine? Uh, yeah. No, this is, this is kind of a story of my life song. Um, kind of tells a lot about me. You know, I was raised by my dad in Southern Indiana and, 
I had this kind of like traumatic, terrible first kiss out at a roller skating rink. And uh, I don't know, it just, you know, it kind of sparked this song, me talking about it with my co-writer. And we wrote this song called Year to Be Young, 1994, because that was the year that, that that kiss happened. But it was like, it was more just about like, you know, my childhood and a coming of age kind of song for me. But, um, and it'll be my next single. But, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll play that one for you because this will be this will be out in just a few weeks. So it's yeah. called Year to Be Young, 1994. Yeah, That'll work. Good okay. enough for the Beatles. <laughs> I must admit I felt the flame Kurt Cobain, a Fender Mustang MTV brought me up This is your brain on drugs And I won't forget that first girlfriend That got me into boys to men And I grew up a lot that year My sweatshirt said no fear My life was a stereo and it was everything first one in line for the last dance with mary jane hiding in my headphones laying on a bedroom floor 1994 tell mom see you later you don't be blowing up my pager when the show's over i'll come home when that is, I don't know Teen spirit in the air For y'all on cell phone Study hall passing notes Yes, no, or I don't care When my life was a stereo And it was everything Soundtrack, first kiss Out at the roller rink Hands held, two hearts Falling on Gonna live forever Fire's burning And I'm still holding the torch From 1994 My life was a stereo And it was everything Soundtrack takes me back through all those memories Hiding in my headphones Laying on the bedroom floor He takes me back through the days When a song was worth so much more 1994 1994 like a hit song <laughs> oh thank you i hope so yeah. guitar how old's your guitar uh it's 1978 april 21st is when it was built thank you for joining us on black hills tv we appreciate it thank you for having me